All right, uh, in this video I'll share with you my test results so far regarding the hydroelectric dam in City Skylines 2 and show you exactly how you can reduce the low water depth penalty that a lot of people are getting. So let's take a quick look at the most important points, then I'll explain in detail how you can build a dam like this one that I built and what you need to bear in mind. So in a nutshell, the wider and deeper the dam is, the more power it will produce. And what I've observed so far is that the input side of the dam has no influence on the low water depth penalty at all. Just keep it at the depth of the incoming river or canal. However, the water level on the outlet side determines how efficient the dam is, at least it was for me and in all my the tests I ran. If the dam is completely dry on the outlet side, um, or if it, the water level is too high, I always got a high penalty. So basically you want to be between too high and too low. At this point of the game, as far as I know, you can only connect two high voltage power lines to the dam. So one here on the left and one on the right. So that means the maximum usable power is 800 megawatts because each high power line can uh, has a capacity of 400 megawatts. So there's no uh, need to build a dam much bigger than 800 megawatts. However, it's a good idea to dimension it a bit bigger than 800 megawatts, just in case you end up not getting 100% efficiency. Lastly, you want to make sure that the dam is pointing in the right direction. Like you have these two uh, overflow holes right there, which are facing towards the outlet, and you have these inlet holes, which are facing towards the upper stream uh, of the incoming river. All right, now let's have a closer look at how to build a dam like this. So I was aiming for a kind of a realistic um, looking dam, like you know, one that makes sense in a physical way. But if you don't care about that, you can, there is like the way to get to 100% easily by digging a trench at the outlet side, which I'm doing right here. And that just increases the height difference between the inlet and outlet and it also leaves some excess water like on the outlet side which I explained earlier and you'll end up with uh, pretty much 100% efficiency uh, yeah 100% efficiency or like with 0% low depth uh, low water depth um, penalty but like I said I was aiming for a more realistic and good looking dam which also makes sense um, out of a physics perspective which is why I didn't do it. So I've not yet finished building the, the dam entirely, like the edges are not beautiful and there's still this reference hole, but just ignore it for now. I pretty much started with marking the water levels. And if you go into the landscaping tool and turn off uh, the contour lines here, you will see these lines and I'll refer to one of these smallest lines. Um, one step between the lines is one meter for me so that tree or like that uh, height was marked by me before i did all the landscaping and then well you can't read because it's german but it says one meter above uh, water level so that tree was one level above the original water level so pretty much the water before i started landscaping the water level was at the both black lines. So we are now one, two, three and a half meters deeper than we were originally. Same thing uh, over here. I did mark the level here as well before starting with the landscaping. Here it's a bit more because it's a very fast stream here. I like the it's going down pretty rapidly here. But I just marked it there as well, and I put another reference down here. And we can see that the water drop level dropped um, around three and a half meters as well. So that one was half a meter above initially. So it did go down a little bit, but not as much. Before you plan building a dam, you would have to look at your terrain uh, specific on your map. Um, so you want a, a height difference from the top of your dam to the bottom uh, that is as big as possible and the lowest point that you'll find or you will can build is the white line which is the sea level and the highest point of water you'll find is like the uh, 
the point where the water starts in your map. The level of your original river will pretty much depend on the height of your dam, like how high you place it. You can see here, this is my reference, that this was that built 5 meters under the under the water level where I took the water from. So the water level up here, that one is 5 meters below, so we just have a little bit of we're just going down a little bit, which also is why the water level is here a bit lower. From the physics perspective, the water would split between that one and that one, but that source seems to be infinite. So if you take water there, the water level of this stream is just going to depend on the level of your dam. Now that you have the level on the right side, you want um, the level on the left side of the dam to be at the exact same height. And you can easily do that by just uh, choosing the level terrain tool, put it to 100% and a decent brush size, and you can just um, pull it over like that. Alright, so after I had that height, I just decided where I want the river to flow back into that stream, and I took the... Um, the lowest point of that river from there and made a river to the dam um, like the dam was not constructed yet so I put that height and transferred it over there then I checked like the length of that river and went up the stream that exact same length like roughly in that length and I checked how much the water level um, here was lower because uh, lower than there and I took that height difference and went up from here to there exactly that same difference so there's a small slope going down so the water can flow and you can easily do that if you don't know like the slope terrain tool how it works it's basically you right click let me show it real quick um, you just, oh, there's, there are all the train tracks, let's do it there. Um, you just right click somewhere and that's going to be the reference point where it's going to slope down to. And then you start at the point where you want the slope to begin. So I hold left click and it's going to start to go down exactly um, to the point where I right clicked. So that's how you can make uh, the slope very nice and even. That's how I made the slope down there. Now that we have the level up here and the level uh, down there, which is like roughly, I don't know, I can't remember exactly, I think it was seven meters higher than that point here, I just um, terraformed that level through over here and then I pretty much built the dam on that exact level. I just made it a bit of a curve because like a lot of uh, dams uh, look like that in real life and just makes sense of a from physics kind of perspective. So I just built it like that. And this dam was theoretically um, calculated. Like if you place it, it will show you how much it could possibly make. Let's try that. So it shows me right there, it's uh, 1,500 megawatts, and that dam was calculated with exactly 1,000 megawatts. And like I said, it doesn't make sense to go super huge, because you can't use more than 800 megawatts anyways. So after placing the dam, like unfortunately I can't show you exactly, I made some save games um, in the process, but the game somehow ditched these uh, save games and I can't show it. I'll have to show you uh, the finished example. Um, so I made these canals not connected to the main water source. Like I built everything, like I just said, but with that right here, um, still closed. Like with the, there was no water flowing in there and it was closed here as well. Then, after I had placed the dam, I opened that uh, 
that block blockage right here and the water started flowing in and it slowly starts filling up and that's gonna take time hours I'm not talking about in-game hours I'm talking about real hours and during that time uh, your mainstream or your auto stream will pretty much dry out entirely so if you have a um, a water inlet like I do have here a water pumping station you will keep, have to keep in mind that that water level is gonna drop below that point so that's gonna hang in the air and you'll not get any water from that but as soon as that whole area is filled up like during the time when it fills up it's not going to produce any power but as soon as you reach like the end up levels and your the water level is at this level it's gonna start producing power and you'll see that the water is coming out on the lower side and as soon as you have like this whole reservoir and that river filled with water slowly but surely the water level back here will rise again so as soon as that whole reservoir and the river is uh, filled up again it's filled up to the line where it should be like you can see it how far it's gonna rise until it's at that point it will start overflowing and since we have had it uh, blocked here it's gonna be dry in here entirely and that's what I said like if you have no water here then it's gonna be at zero percent efficiency at first but it's overflowing and it will fill that river that outlet river here slowly but surely and you'll pretty much see as it rises the efficiency will go up and you can play around with it like I'm at minus 12 percent on average I don't care really because I'm not using uh, that much power anyway I only have one side connected to the outside water which is that one here that power line is at its limit but that's the side for my uh, for this area for this side of the city and that's not connected to the outside world so I'm currently only using a small fraction of what it's producing so that I don't care about the 10% like I could dig down a bit and um, play around with that like if I wanted to max it out I could just dig down a little bit like I showed you earlier but I don't care about it because it's it's a lot of power anyways and especially in the beginning it will probably mess up your uh, your financial stuff because you're gonna sell like I only I'm only selling for under 400 megawatts and I'm making 850k with that slowly but surely the water level in this uh, river will rise and as soon as it is on the same water level uh, height as the um, main uh, river stream I opened the blockage and the reason why I did that is because if you just pause the game and like dig a new river in there where it's like no water at all and the water's just gonna go into the new stream all at once then it could happen that you're getting like some flooding and I just wanted to prevent any potential floodings with that but you could probably just do it in one go if you don't care about it so yeah if you just made the measurements correctly and you're like like I said roughly seven meters in my case above then you'll end up with uh, yeah some river depth Jesus with some river depth uh, here which is gonna in my case it's gonna lead to minus 10% because of low water depth like I said you could maximize that by digging a trench but it does, just doesn't make sense because if I get my employees in there then it's just gonna be above the 800 uh, megawatts which you can use with two power lines it's gonna be up above that anyway so the 10% uh, I don't care about these that's it for today if I was able to help you with this video I would appreciate a like and if you have made any further discoveries or observations in relation to the hydroelectric dam please let me and other viewers know in the comments if you would like to see more videos like that uh, let me also know in the comments like I'm not usually doing uh, videos like that but I've been experimenting with the game a bit and especially with public transport lately so if you're interested in stuff like that just let me know in the comments all right see ya